what's going on with all my money motivated styles, man. If I make a quick video about the whole snitching culture, you know what I mean? When it comes down to Ghana, they saying finesse two times snitch. They saying rich homie snitch. You got a whole audio out, you know what I mean? When it comes to the snitch culture, you know? Cause we can take it back to the boondocks. You know, the boondocks made uh, references to all this stuff that's going on to the, you know what I'm saying, to this day. If you want to see, if I was to shoot to the, uh, if I was to shoot back to the past and I wanted to see like how 2022 was going to be, how 2023 was going to be and so on, i just go back and watch Boondocks. i pay attention closely to every video. Every uh, episode of that damn cartoon is basically coming to life. You know what I mean? When they was calling Riley stupid for not snitching. You know what I mean? They were just basically, if you can read between the lines, that whole Boondocks episode of not snitching was basically to show people how stupid not snitching is. You know what I'm saying? So to get back on topic, it was somebody who asked me, uh, would I still listen to Ghana? You know what I mean? For him snitching. And I'm like, yes, bro. Like, why would I, why would I stop listening to somebody just because they snitch? I don't know him. He make good music for what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares about these rappers? Like a lot of people, this just shows you how to cut what the consciousness is going on the planet. A lot of people are too invested in their favorite rapper and their favorite celebrity and their favorite or oh, they actor, whatever you know what I'm saying, gymnast, whatever you do. If you just so solely focus on this uh person, don't do that. You don't know them. They they gonna let you down, man. You know what I mean? There is just no 99% of rappers will snitch, bro. I don't care. How many bodies they got, I don't care. You gotta realize, especially if they rich, you know what I mean? Like, maybe before the, you know what I'm saying, they was in the streets, it's a lot of people who would keep it solid, but once a rapper transitioned from being dirt poor, and now they have at least five M's to 10 M's in the bank, they are going to snitch, bro. It don't matter who they snitch on. <laughs> they wanna enjoy that lifestyle, bro. They just went from Dealing with black feet ratchets, they ain't have no motors in their car. The car was just sitting on the old curb. Now they riding the Lamborghini form. They got bad supermodel chicks with big BBLs this bigger than motherfucking two super sized water balloons. They gonna wanna go back to that. Ain't nobody finna yeah, I accept life. Ain't nobody gonna accept life. Ain't nobody gonna accept twenty years. Some of these niggas ain't gonna accept six years, you know what I mean? But we gotta stop caring about this shit. If you don't know these people, it's so many people out here that forgive their significant other for cheating. They forgive family members for stealing, robbing, you know what I'm saying? Coming in their household, messing stuff up. But it's crazy on the internet, you can't even forgive nobody that you don't know for snitching. Like, bro, listen to the music. That's just like they tried to cancel Drake a couple years back, uh, back for not writing his lyrics, bro. Nobody cares. That's why he didn't get counsel. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares if you snitch. Nobody really cares if you um don't write your lyrics. They care about how you sound on this song, the beat slapping, and the melody good. You good. It don't matter what you can do in the industry. Only the only thing, only reason how uh. Your music can be affected by snitching or whatever if you stop rapping. If you let this tarnish your brain and you go somewhere in a hole and you hide, then yeah, you're gonna get defeated by snitching. You see what Gunner doing? Like he putting he, he putting his foot on the folks neck, you know what I mean? It don't matter about that. So I really made this video for the sole purpose of telling man the youth, bro, this is the reason why you shouldn't want to be in the streets, bro. Like I'm from the hood, but I never been no street nigga. Cause I didn't seen how niggas act, man. There's no rules when it comes to this shit, bro. These niggas will fuck your girl if she let them. These niggas will fuck your mama. They'll, they'll do the most grimy stuff. These females will set you up. Dudes will set you up. Once you call your close partner, they'll snitch on you. They'll put you in the worst situations. They'll have you in a car where they know they on their last strike. You ain't got no strikes. They'll tell you to take the charge and you get time for some shit you ain't do. If you stupid enough to do it and you feel like that's your home, well, sometimes people do that. 
You know what I mean? People don't care about you in these streets, bro. So all these rappers trying to glorify and it may sound cool, but that time don't sound cool. You know what I mean? I'm the person who didn't have to go through that, who didn't have to actually get put in handcuffs and do all that to realize what I realized. But a lot of people learn different. They learn by actually going through those phases. And I'm telling y'all, man, y'all don't have to go through that to realize that people just ain't shit. You know what I mean? Out of all your friends, you might just have that one friend or that one percent that will hold you down and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody was telling you, "Oh, so you would still hang around Gunner if he, if he was your friend and you uh he was around here snitching," I'm me, me personally, yes, because I don't do shit to get snitched on. You know, it's like what nigga, I go to work. Like how you gonna he gonna say, "Damn, that nigga went to work early yesterday." You know what I'm saying? You ain't watched it. Like you can't snitch on me. I've been a snitch on your ass before you snitched on me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I don't, I stay out of that shit, man. You can't, like, if you know, if I was a person who was doing, like, you know what I'm saying, trapping out, of course I wouldn't hang with a snitch because that's, that's what you got. You got to be smart. Like, why would you hang around a snitch and you really in the street doing this, doing that, you know what I mean? But me, like I said, me personally, I won't care. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people who should feel like I feel because they not doing shit. There's a lot of niggas that's on the internet saying this, are you hang with a snitch? You never been in that life, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's people from the suburbs commenting on stuff. It's like, and these rappers just feed into it. Everybody's feeding to a lot of negativity. But this message right here is strictly for the youth, man. Do not get in some you know you ain't ready for. If you know you're a loyal person, because you might be that loyal person that's going to get fucked off by everybody else, man. Because I knew if I was in the streets, that would have been me. I would have been too loyal. I'm too loyal of a person. To not peep out all this snake shit and fuckery. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers wouldn't have my back like I have theirs. You know what I'm saying? You just got to have that in you, man. A lot of people got too much loyalty in them for the streets. Them people who end up getting crossed out, taking bids for their homies, and just doing a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Getting exed out on the behalf of a female. You know what I mean? The streets ain't for everybody, man. That's why in the 50 Cent movie, even though it was a movie, he said, don't show no love. Love get you killed. Yeah, you... You can't be a loving person in the streets. You gotta be a snitch to be in the streets. You gotta be a grimy ass person to be in the streets. You gotta, cause love don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Love do not make it in the streets. You gotta have a negative ass trait to survive in the streets. Then when I, when I look at people and I see that they OGs and all this shit, I kind of question it. You know what I mean? Some people can skate by and just get off on this shit, but I question somebody who survived that long in the streets, 25 years, 30 years plus, I question it, you know what I mean? I know stuff ain't like it was back in the day, but they had snitches back in the day too. But I know the game is all distorted now, so I question a lot of stuff. A lot of people will look at OGs like, yeah, he's a, 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 a. I question everything, man. Not saying yeah, OG is flawed, but I'm wise enough to know, bro, how did you make it when it, it ain't no love out here? You know what I'm saying? It's too much grimy shit going on. What did you do grimy to your homeboys or your family that kept you in this game? You know what I'm saying? The what people gotta realize, man. It's for the, it's strictly for the youth, man. Y'all gotta know the streets is not where it's in, man. Y'all be blessed on walking that smoke.